Camera views can be taken of a model's interior and exterior. You can also customize many camera view properties, such as position, angle, focal point, and field of view. The perspective and orthographic camera view tools are both used similarly. In floor plan view, click, drag, and release the mouse to create a camera view. To explain more, I'll click floor plan tab, which takes me back to the floor plan view without closing the camera view. The camera object in floor plan view represents the camera view. Where I first clicked to begin dragging determines the camera's position. Where I released the mouse determined the camera's focal point. In floor plan view, you can select the camera and adjust its position, perspective, and focal point using the mouse. You can also select a camera and click the Open Object Edit button to open the camera specification dialog. Here you can customize this specific camera view. Once you've perfected your camera view, you can save it and use it in a variety of ways. Overviews are created from the same overhead perspective each time. Simply click on one of the overview tools for an instant rendered 3D view. The full overview tool creates a view of the entire 3D model. The dollhouse view opens a three-dimensional, bird's-eye view of a single floor. No ceilings or roofs display, allowing you to see the interior of your design. The framing overview creates a view of the entire model showing only the framing. Cross-section views are very useful for dimensioning objects and editing objects along the vertical plane. Creating a cross-section elevation view is similar to creating camera views. I'll click and drag directly towards this wall. When I release the mouse, I'll see an elevation of the front of this house. Back in floor plan view, notice that this camera marks the location of the cross-section camera, along with a line that defines its clipping plane. I'll select the cross-section view from the bottom of the window menu to return to that view. Many objects can be selected and edited in cross-section elevation views, just as they can in floor plan view. Home Designer has non-photorealistic rendering techniques we can use to create a variety of artistic views. Glasshouse views are a great way to visualize a model in 3D using semi-transparent surfaces. Everything appears translucent so you can see the walls that define each room, as well as the objects inside them. I can adjust the glasshouse options. I can change the line thickness, transparency, and the color of the surfaces. As I change these values, the screen will update automatically. Technical Illustration uses lines, patterns, and shading to illustrate the rendering. Shading is done with two colors, one warm tone and one cool tone, which can be defined as a default by going to Edit, Default Settings, Camera, Rendering Techniques. You can also adjust these settings for your current 3D view by going to the 3D menu, to Rendering Techniques, and clicking the Technique Options command. Or you can go to the drop-down menu and choose Technique Options here. Click on either color to change it and adjust the options. As you can see, the rendering looks less like a photo and more like a line drawing detailing surface, edge, and pattern lines. Now I'll return to the Rendering Techniques drop-down and select Watercolor. Unlike Technical Illustration, which uses lines and patterns, Watercolor uses textures to represent the materials. I can customize the look of my watercolor rendering by going back to the Technique Options command. You can click the Help button to learn about these adjustments and use them to give your rendering a unique look all their own.